Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Today we are having a tag. I was tagged by the one and only Karis here on YouTube. She's a mom of three. She has got a great collection. I tell you, if you love anything luxury related, go and check her out. You probably know her anyway. I have to be careful to not turning this video into a bag collection video because that one will come soon. If you like anything fashion related or luxury items related, please consider subscribing to my channel and come back and visit me again. That would make me really happy. And also check me out on Instagram. On Instagram, I am quite active and I would love to have you there as well. So let's get started. Which item should I choose from this mess in front of me? Uh, I would go with Chanel because that was the most difficult item or brand to choose an item from this must be the bag or the item i keep uh, if i had to keep only one item from this brand now i have the mini version of this bag uh, with gold hardware i love that one as well but and actually that one is more used than this one but I would keep this one <laughs> because this bag, because of the silver hardware, goes with my wardrobe so well. I know that gold hardware is seeing such a big trend right now, but I remain silver. <laughs> I love my silver hardware and I, I just love this bag. This is this goes literally with everything. This bag is has to be um, the one and only bag I would keep if I had to, but I'm so happy I don't have to. Uh, that's such a scary, actually, scary thought, you know. Uh, I'm happy that I, I can keep all of them. So next, I would like to go to Celine. I love Celine. I love old Celine, new Celine. I know that many people are still hanging on <laughs> old Celine. I, I do love old Celine, but I think, and don't, don't uh, come after me but when I say that, but I think old Celine is beautiful. Carrying their bags especially is like carrying a piece of art. But I think and I am quite convinced that their bags are not very functional. Either they are too heavy or they are very difficult to get in and out. I have tried many of their bags. Uh, having said that, I love the look of those and I love my Celine bag as well. But if I had to keep only one piece, it may not be surprising to many of you. It would be my Celine sunglasses. They may be a bit dirty. <laughs> but these sunglasses, let me tell you, I have worn them so much. I mean, the cost per wear with these would be, I don't know, ridiculous. I mean, I have had them now for almost 10 years, seven years, around 10 years mark, and I have worn them almost every day. Yes, almost every day, and I don't wear sunglasses only in winter. Uh, in summer, I wear them in winter as well. So next, we should move on and get to Gucci. I love, uh, I mean, there was a time I was uh, Gucci-fied. <laughs> and if you watch my videos, you see a few Gucci uh, purchases here and there. And I have to say, the only Gucci piece that I have currently in my uh, wardrobe or my collection and uh, which I wouldn't let go are these shoes. I absolutely love these shoes. They go so well with my existing wardrobe. I absolutely love them. Uh, they have a, a really beautiful gold brush, uh, brushed gold or brush, gold brush, anyway, <laughs> golden hardware. The color, this taupe color is so beautiful. It goes so well with, you know, any shades of green, with grays. They are very comfortable. The leather is buttery. The craftsmanship is just beautiful. As you may know, I have had 
Another pair of Gucci shoes uh, that I have sold because they were not uh, my style anymore. I will link that video up here for you if you uh, want to see it. But uh, those were very nice as well. But I don't like to keep anything that I don't wear. So I had to uh, sell them. Next we get to LV, Louis Vuitton. To be honest with you, this tag is quite difficult for me because I have a very curated wardrobe and pieces and I only keep pieces that I love and anything that I don't like anymore so much or I don't wear anymore so much, I tend to sell. I don't have many Louis Vuitton pieces. I only have a few, I think three or four pieces from Louis Vuitton. But if I had to keep only one piece, then it would be this bag. I absolutely adore this bag. This bag, again, goes so well with my style. It goes with everything I own and it is adorable. It is very functional. I'm so happy that this bag crossed my way because there is a story behind this bag, how I got this bag and I had to return a bag and then had a problem with that bag. Anyway, I will link all the videos either here or in the description box below for you. So next we have Stuart Weitzman. I have a few shoes from Stuart Weitzman, including the uh, Lowland, Lowland, yeah, Lowland. I love those boots. They are beautiful, but I love these more. <laughs> I know this is not everyone's cup of tea. Actually, my husband doesn't like them either. I bought them a few years ago in California and I still wear them, you know? So the cost per wear is very, very low with them and I love them for that. You know, they are still trendy. Uh, what do you think about the over the knee boots actually by Stuart Weitzman? Do you still like them? I mean, the trend was huge, right? And um, it seems uh, to, you know, being uh, fading away now, but um, I'm not sure. But now, last, but by no means least, da da! <laughs> oh God! This one, um, yes, by Hermes, my beloved, and uh, I mean, if I could only, keep one piece from all these brands, it would be, maybe this is a new tag, <laughs> it would be this bag. Uh, this is a Kelly 28, you have seen me opening this bag with you, link it up here again for you, just uh, still so in love with this bag and also to be honest with you, I'm a bit afraid of this bag. <laughs> Yes, I am. I am afraid of touching this bag. And as you can see, this is still very uh, well packed. Um, yes, it is always the same with me. You know, when I buy anything new, I need a few weeks, if not months, um, until I get comfortable with it. I don't know, are you like that as well? And it doesn't have to be from Hermes. It's also the same with any brand or sometimes even with, you know, and other stories or course or anything, really. I, I, I don't know. I have such a respect. <laughs> and um, yes, I love this one. Oh, this is actually not my last piece. Oh my God, I forgot all about Cartier. I didn't even mention it. <laughs> okay, we can do that. Yes, I love this bag and you, if you haven't seen my unboxing, go and watch it. The, that video is my most commented video and um, yes, and by the way, thank you so much for all your lovely comments on that video. And they keep coming and they make my days, you know, and they make me so happy. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I am very grateful for... Uh, for you watching my videos and commenting on my videos. Thank you so much. So back to this video, <laughs> uh, back. I still can't really uh, wrap my head around having this bag in my life, you know? So 
yeah, this is uh, that. As I said, if you want to know uh, my crazy reaction when I got this bag, please go and watch my video where I unbox that bag. Now we get to the last piece, which is my Cartier um, collection, actually. I have a few pieces from Cartier. Actually, everything I owned from Cartier, you can see here <laughs> in this video. Um, uh, here, yeah. And um, I love all the pieces, but if I had to keep only one, and that was really easy for me, it's my love bracelet. You know, because I have it on me every day, <laughs> it forces me to enjoy a piece of luxury every day. You know, even with the most mundane uh, chores or tasks of life, Every time my eyes glaze over this um, bracelet or this piece of art for me, uh, it, it fills me with joy. <laughs> it fills me with joy. That's it. You know, and I still sometimes look at it and think, oh my God, aren't you beautiful? <laughs> oh God, I'm crazy. I know. I'm Please uh, stay tuned for my coming uh, videos. I will do a video on my bag collection, which uh, will be very exciting. So anyway, let me know which piece you like most. Karis, thank you so much for tagging me. I love your videos. I love your personality. Thank you so much for watching my video and I really hope to see you soon on my next one. Till then, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.